Hello, today we'll be talking about Lesson 2.1, which is demand. Demand looks like a straight line on the graph where the y-axis here is price and the x-axis here is quantity. Demand could either be a straight line like the one I've drawn here or a slope like this. It doesn't really matter, but you do need to know that it always goes from top left to bottom right, while supply on the other hand goes from top, bottom left to top right. But today we'll be focusing on demand. So what actually makes the demand slope look like this? There are a few reasons. The first of which is the substitution effect. And what that basically is, is when the price of a product goes down, let's say apple juice in this example, when the price of apple juice goes down, people will tend to buy apple juice instead of a substitute for apple juice, like orange juice or another type of fruit juice. That's because uh, if the other types of products that are similar to apple juice are more expensive and uh, less affordable, people will buy more apple juice. The next of which is the income effect. And what that basically means is if the price of apple juice uh, goes down, the amount of apple juice obtained per dollar goes up. So people will buy more apple juice because it's more worth their money. The last reason is the law of diminishing marginal utility. If you remember this table from unit 1.6, you see that this number here is decreasing, but the overall total utility is still increasing. So the reason why that is, is because if you, uh, the first sip of apple juice you drink, you're getting the, the full enjoyment out of the apple juice because you haven't drank in a long time. The, if you drink another one, you might still be happy with it. But as you continue, you'll slowly go, grow sick of drinking apple juice. So then your enjoyment goes down. And those are the three reasons why demand is downward sloping. Uh, if you have trouble remembering it, uh, you can use the acronym SIL, substitution effect, income, and the law of diminishing marginal utility. That's what each of these letters stand for. Uh, you don't really need to know this for the AP test that much. I would rather have you stress on what I'm going to be talking about next, which is the five shifters of demand. So the five shifters of demand are one, consumer preference, two, number of consumers, three, price of related goods, four, income of consumers, and five, expectations. So what do each of these mean? Okay, first, consumer preference. Uh, think of an example like a scientific study being published that shows that apple juice makes people dumb. Obviously, people don't want to be dumb, so they don't want to drink as much apple juice, so they start buying less apple juice. For number of consumers, it's really simple. More people will buy more things. For the price of related goods, which I'll be talking about more in later videos, the, the just a quick summary right now, there's substitutes and complements. Substitutes have a inverse relation and complements have a direct relation, meaning when a substitute's uh, price goes up, the demand for the original product goes up as well. But when the, the price of the substitute goes down, the demand for the original product goes down too. For four, which is the income of consumers, I don't want to go too deep into it, but basically know that normal goods, uh, when the income increases, the demand of normal goods increases as well. But for uh, inferior goods, the opposite is true. When the income decreases, the demand increases. Uh, I'll be talking more about that in the 2.5 video, so please go there if you need help with that. For number five is expectations. This is really simple. It's just if you expect apple juice to go down in price next week, the demand for apple juice will go down this week. And going back to the first graph, what does a shift in the demand even look like? So this is our original line. A shift downwards would be going over here and a shift upwards would be going outside. Uh, let's give an example just to showcase before we end the video. Let's say um, a study comes out that shows apple juice makes you dumb. Drinking apple juice makes you dumb. That causes demand to decrease. So that would cause the demand to fall inwards and go like this. I hope this helps. Thank you for watching.